Walk outside in the cold and you may find that your breath is now visible. But why does your breath form a cloud? Hi everybody, my name is David Henry Wrigley and I am a traveling science show presenter with the Franklin Institute and I am very excited today to share with you a phenomenon that I've noticed since I was very young. And when you breathe out, you actually breathe out water as a vapor. Let's dive a little bit deeper. So, when we're breathing in and breathing out, there are hundreds of different chemical elements that are in our breath. But the most important thing that we're breathing in and out, if we're going to be able to see our breath, is something we can call condensation nuclei. These are hundreds or even thousands of tiny little particles that are in our breath. That might be soot or dust or cell particles or hundreds of other volatile organic compounds that are just in the air upon which the water in our breath can condense. Let's say you're in Antarctica. It's very cold there. But it's also got very clean air. There's no cities, no cars, there's practically no life happening there. So when you breathe out, even though it's very cold in Antarctica, you cannot see your breath. But here, back in Philadelphia, where I've got plenty of condensation nuclei, and I breathe outside into the cold air, or perhaps I breathe over a doer of liquid nitrogen, which is resting here at about negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit, very cold. The water in my breath can condense upon those nuclei and form a cloud of my design. Now that's cool. Spark of Science, signing off.